Hey guys, and welcome back to the wood burning, well, a wood burning hobbyist kit playlist here on the Learning Droid. Uh, today we're going to be looking at branding tips. The Weller Wood Burning Hobbies Kit comes with three branding tips. They're pretty standard ones for most solid point machines. You can also get huge array guys of bits for other machines. You can't get a huge array of bits for the Weller machine, but then as long as they've got the right screw thread, any bit will work. Some have proprietary threads, some have proprietary connectors. Most of them use the same size, same standardized screw thread. Um, a branding tip, guys, is simply a round end tip with a pattern on it. We've got three, but I'll show you this one just so you can see what they're like. It's a little round stamp bit with a little pattern on the end. This one's uh, straight lines. And basically, guys, they're just to get you a pattern when you print them into the wood. I've actually never used the branding bits. I experimented with one of them. And then just thought, no, I'd rather do it, rather do it by myself, rather do my own patterns, my own designs by hand. Um, but some people like the patterns, guys. Some people like the branding style of pyrography. I mean, this is the very basic branding style. Very little brands, very simple patterns. Boom, 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 boom. You can get ridiculous brands. Um, you can get almost like um, embossing brands. So if you've ever seen a leather embossing tool that has a full pattern on it, like a, a full butterfly pattern or something like that. You can get brands like that as well. Some of them can't be used in machines, some of them have to be heated up over fires, things like that. But you can get pretty big, pretty complicated designs done on brands. You can also get all the letters of the alphabet as brands, which works quite well, rather than drawing out letters yourself. But if you've got brands for your machine, they're not going to get much bigger than this, so the letters are going to be quite small. With branding bits, guys, as I said, they're not my favourite, but we'll have a look what these three can do, because these come with the Weller machine. Uh, I'm going to do all three in one video, guys, because there's no real reason not to. I'm not going to be doing a huge bit on them, because there's not a huge variation you can do with them. You brand the pattern in, and that's that. Um, I haven't used them much, guys, so I don't expect the patterns to come out super tidy, but as you get more experience with them, it's easier to use particular brands, easier to get the patterns to come out tidy. So, guys, let's move on to the burn. Hey guys, so branding tips. I've never used branding tips for any of my product guys. I'm not a big fan of branding tips, but I'll do a really quick video just to show you. These are the Weller Wood Burning and Hobbyist branding tips guys. This is the straight line one and literally you press it into the wood and you get straight lines. How long you press it for depends on how accurate your straight lines are. You can run it down the wood to get straight lines that follow a certain length. I don't like the branding tips guys, I find them to be very hard to do accurately and very hard to do smoothly. If you want to pattern them up you have to line up the branding tip very well and try and get them all to line up. I don't like them, I would prefer just to do the lines myself. So that's the line branding tip guys. When changing tips in an on machine bear in mind the machine gets hot not just the tip so you never want to touch the end of the machine guys which is why I'm using a pair of mini modeling pliers with wire tip machines it's actually far easier because once the sort of wires turned off it cools down very very quickly and once the machines turned off there's nothing hot so straight away it's not full temperature guys but the machine is at full temperature so it won't take long this one is the hexagon pattern so there we go very much like a football pattern guys there's our hexagon pattern theoretically if you line up the edges you should be able to create a repeating style pattern that um, just goes on over and over and over again and supposedly is sort of never ending links but guys again I'm not a fan of the brand that's another one of the brands you can use the edge of the brand especially with the hexagon one to create a ca almost like a, a crenellation castle top guys I have thought about doing this before with some of my patterns guys some of my medieval style ones is to have a like crenellated castle top border 
the hexagon one's best if you want to do that. But that's the hexagon one, guys. There's one more left, and it's the circles one. Once again, using a pair of pliers just to unscrew the bit, like so, because it's hot. Glass dish, that way it doesn't damage the side, it doesn't burn anything you don't want it to burn. And then, guys, when you put the bits in, just try not to drop them, that's one important thing. Just rotate them in, guys. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Eight. Never touch this with your hands guys because even though it's not hot enough to burn wood yet, it is hot enough to burn your fingers, even from the second it touches, especially if the machine's at full temperature. This is why guys, people like wire tip machines slightly more, especially artists, because you can change the bits more easily. You can turn the machine off and wait for it to cool, but, oh no, this is squares, sorry. You can turn the machine off and wait for it to cool down, but it's actually just far easier to um, have a wire tip machine because they are much more efficient at changing the bits. So you guys, getting it all lined up, I'm not a big fan of these. Once again, you can get a slightly wider crenellation pattern with the squares. If you just roll it along and you get these kind of like crenellation style effect. Hello kitty. When you've got animals and things guys always be careful. I've left the garage door open because I need airflow with this one but I'll keep an eye on her make sure she doesn't jump up. She's not the kind of cat that jumps up much but bear in mind that this thing gets hot enough to do serious damage to kids, cats and pretty much anything. So always keep an eye on things like that guys. So there's the stamps guys. There's the branding patterns. This is an example of a pen being used for branding pyrography, pyrography pen being used for branding pyrography. Some of the patterns you can get are quite nice. Branding pyrography is a mix of super easy and super difficult. Getting the patterns to all line up very hard, but then if you've got letters and things, draw a line, stamp all the letters on, you've got a nice bit of personalised um, woodwork. So there you go guys, that's brandings, thanks and I'll talk to you next time.